Luck plays a massive role in every game of chance. Yet, there are secret strategies that can help you increase your chances of hitting the lottery jackpot. Don't believe us? Take Richard Lustig, for instance. The man won the lottery seven times. Do you think he scored such a magnificent result only by luck? Not at all. Instead, he used some solid strategies and stuck to them for years before collecting the fruits of his labor. Hey there, millionaire. In this video, we will look at the best tips, tricks, and strategies to increase your chances of winning the lottery. It's safe to say that most lottery winners are not very vocal about their strategies. There's an apparent reason for that. If everyone knew what tactics gave the best chances of winning, lotteries would go bankrupt. Luckily for us, some winners do share their strategies, like Richard Lustig. Lustig was buried in debt a few years ago, but then had an outrageous streak of seven lottery winnings, turning him into a millionaire. You may consider yourself not as lucky as Richard, but it turns out winning a jackpot prize relies on luck. But there are a few simple tricks and strategies you can use to better your chances, especially the last tip on the list, which has helped many winners in the past. So stick around. Now, let's dive right into it. Number 10, stay in the range. Statistics has shown that most lottery jackpots have been won by tickets in which the sum of the numbers in the winning combination fall in the range from 104 to 176. This means that using only small numbers would leave you under the range and using high numbers would make you go over. Thanks science for this info. A statistic experiment has shown that 70% of lottery jackpots have sums that fall in this range. So choose better next time you're picking your winning numbers. Number nine, form a lottery syndicate. Forming a syndicate will get more tickets and lottery numbers, meaning you all will have a better chance of hitting the jackpot. But remember that you'll have to share the jackpot too. Well, if your syndicate wins 500 million and you must divide the prize between 10 people, that is still enough for your grandkids to enjoy. Over the years, this strategy has helped many lottery winners, but others will help if you don't want to split your jackpot. So keep watching. Number eight, search for unpopular games played at odd times. Don't bet on lottery games that always have a winner. Find not so popular games. Think about it. Fewer hunters for the main prize, more chances to win. The jackpot prize might be smaller, but the odds of winning are higher. There are lots of lottery games you can play. If you join the national lottery draw, you get a much broader number pool than a local or state lottery. Remember that you must be physically present during the draw in a local lottery. Still, the odds of winning are higher compared with a nationwide lottery. Number seven, don't use birthdays for your numbers. These are the numbers from one to 31. Try going for numbers above 31 as well. This not only increases your chances of winning, as we will see in the following tips and tricks, but you can also boost your probability of not sharing your fortune with anyone. Although every number in the lottery has an equal probability of being chosen as a winning number, you still can increase your chance of not splitting the jackpot price if you choose the not so common number. Number six, use quick pick tickets. This one is easy, but some people get easily fooled by the lottery companies. As you may know, quick pick lottery tickets are random numbers selected by default. Most people believe they are more likely to win when choosing their numbers, but don't fall for it. It's a trap. Random lottery tickets have a much bigger chance of winning than those selected by the player. The reason behind this phenomenon is simple. In general, people are not very good at choosing random numbers. Why spend minutes thinking of random numbers when the lottery can do a better job for you and instantly? When selecting lottery numbers, most people pick either their birthdays or telephone numbers. Of course, telephone numbers and birthdays have a high occurrence rate. Statistically, you have a better chance of winning by using Quick Pick, so don't overthink it. So far, we have seen some interesting winning strategies. Have you seen anything that will change the way you play? Let us know in the comments section below. Number five, try playing Powerball. This is not a promotion, and we are not getting paid to say so, seriously. But have you ever wondered why people love to play the Powerball so much? That's because the game offers an unbelievable chance of winning the jackpot compared to others. You get a one in 292 million chance for each ticket you buy to land a winning combination. That is an incredibly high chance of winning in the lottery world. That's why many people play Powerball, even if they don't consider the prize money. Like Richard Lustig mentioned in his book, learn how to increase your chances of winning the lottery. It is all about creating a good strategy and using it for years. He used to play Powerball every week for 27 years. He finally won in the 28th year. Number four, buy more tickets. This is obvious, but more tickets, more chances to win. However, you may need to spend lots of money too. 
The worth of your winnings may never be compensated because of the high investment you put in buying tickets. This was proven by an Australian firm experiment that tried this trick in a local lottery. Still, buying more tickets may help improve your chances of winning, but be careful and responsible and only play with money you can afford to lose. Number three, keep your tickets safe. Surprisingly, a large amount of people forget about this. When you purchase a lottery ticket, you must keep it safe until the draw takes place. It doesn't really matter where you hide it as long as it is out of sight and out of mind. According to a study conducted by Professor Robert Matthews from Ashton University, lottery players who keep their tickets in wallets or purses got a much lower chance of winning than people who store their tickets elsewhere. People keep losing their lottery tickets, proven by science, so make sure you really take care of it. Number two, a sure way to win the lottery. This is the only way to play the lottery that will guarantee you a win. Play every number combination and guarantee a jackpot. In fact, some people have won by buying all of the combinations. For example, a 14-time lottery winner, Stefan Mandel, who was clever enough to win a $27 million jackpot like this back in 1992. Unfortunately, lotteries have changed since then and have increased the amounts of numbers, making it way more challenging to cover all combinations. For instance, even if the jackpot is big enough to make buying all the combinations worth it, you can't guarantee that you won't have to split the jackpot slashing your profits and making you take a loss. And finally, number one, learn to manifest abundance. According to lottery winners, this is a tricky one, but certainly one of the most powerful of all. Previous lottery jackpot winners have used the law of attraction and manifestation techniques to win the lottery. The interesting thing is that these techniques work for abundance and wealth and for anything you would like to create in your life. If you want to learn how to do it powerfully and effectively, make sure to check the link in the description below. Winning a colossal lottery like Powerball is a dream for everyone. You can get rid of debts and set your children and grandchildren up for life. Playing the lottery can be fun, but improving your chances when you have a winning strategy is way better. Be aware of weird lottery games that aren't popular and are not known by many people, especially with crypto lotteries nowadays. Scams are all over the place. So make sure to play games that you are certain are legit. If you take time and enjoy playing and participating in the lottery, today's strategies will certainly help you. It's crucial to note that once you do win the jackpot, there are also many things you have to do after you win. Make sure to watch our video on what to do after winning the lottery. That way, you'll be prepared for your big day. But what do you think? What strategy fits you most? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until next time, stay wealthy, and I'll see you on the next one. And I'll see you.